Okay, got to, uh, just picked up these guys, three um, Japanese ponds or wood turtles. Um, picked them up from Dudley uh, today. Uh, more is Japonica. So beautiful turtles. Um, I've wanted these for a while. Uh, so we'll just take them over the new environment. So let's put them down here a second. So uh, this is like a planting table. I used this last year uh, for some three toad box turtles I had last year. Uh, and uh, it is about 70 centimeters long, 30 centimeters wide. I've used a paint tray for a water area, a pond weed, oxygenator, water lettuce, stuck weed in it. Uh, the rest is soft soil, uh, plenty of uh, moss there. So let's take them out. A new environment. Put a few mealworms in. There's plenty of worms in here as well. I seem to have, uh, let's have a look. Oh. So, uh, beautiful turtles. I've wanted these for a while uh, so I'll overwinter them in this area uh, so I've got this in the garage next to my aquarium uh, let me spot a turtle in and then these guys I'll release outside next uh, late spring early summer Exploring around. Uh, covered in duckweed. And the other two. Still haven't moved yet. So I'll leave these for now and get, let them get used to their new environment. And um, I'll keep you updated with how they get on. Okay, so just showing this uh, enclosure with the lid on now, so that keeps the, uh, gives a bit of heat in. Obviously there's a, a UVA, UVB bulb in there, and the other thing I've done is uh, insulated it with uh, polystyrene. Okay, I'm in the garage, so it's obviously a, a better environment, but uh, yeah, I did all that last year to ensure that the turtles didn't get too cool for the first winter. So, uh, these guys, Japanese wood turtles, pond turtles, I've run these guys for a little while now and uh, finally got some. Uh, so, the plan is, obviously, come next spring, put them outside in the main pond. Uh, very tolerant to cold. Uh, so, they'll be good with uh, the species out there. 